Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. I'm oh, so, and Axel. Axel, I'm so happy that you're joining me for another video or if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you clicked on the video. Hopefully you're gonna find it helpful. We are gonna save some money here at Publix today. We're gonna do some easy deals. So we're gonna head in here, look through the deals in the store. Plus I'm gonna go over the receipt with you once we get done and talk final costs. So you can kind of see like the checkout process and also you know the final cost after we submit to some rebate apps which is another really easy thing so if you're not signed up on Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, things like that I will have links for all of those below the video so you can click there sign up for those before you head to the store and start doing your shopping plus I'll have a free printable list also available below the video so let's go ahead let's get in here let's check out the deals don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful today and hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new ones. Let's go ahead and check out the deals. Alright guys, we are at Publix and we are going to head in here and check out some deals. I think that we have some pretty good savings on some household items as well as some groceries this week. So we're going to see what all we can pick up. Starting off with some laundry deals, we've got the all detergent. This is the free and clear. We've got the 39 count packs and also the liquid that qualify for the buy one get one free. They're $15.99. So if you're grabbing two, you could use a $1.50 coupon if you have it. I got this one in one of our recent inserts. So if you were to use that coupon, you could do that and then also submit for $3 on each one of these because we have a rebate for the liquid and for the packs. Your final cost would be about $8.99 for both if you want to just grab one of these after the dollar 50 coupon it would be 649 after the three dollar i bought a rebate it'd be only 349 for one the next thing I'm grabbing is some of the Snuggle dryer sheets. These 120 count ones are $8.79. That's crazy. But if you live in Half Bogo, which is pretty much any state other than Florida, you can grab one of these for $4.39. We have this $2 off one coupon that qualifies for this, so it would make it $2.39. But we also have $1 back on Ibotta, so it would make it $1.39 for these. So that is not too bad. And we also have another option for the smaller box, so I'm going to show you that one. Um, I was looking but this dollar coupon I don't think it would qualify for one of these fabric softeners they're not the right size but it does say um, that it would work on one of these smaller dryer sheets so we'll look at those all right guys so I'm gonna grab this one right here they're $4.99 I think so one will be $2.49 and use your $1 coupon it'll be $1.49 get 50 cents on Ibotta making the 70 count one just 99 cents the next thing we're going to pick up is the Nivea Men's Body Wash. These are $5.49 for buy one, get one free. If you have these $5 off two coupons, you could use multiple of these, but I only have one. So I'm going to use one of these, making two body wash just $0.49. Cents. I think that's a great savings on this Nivea Body Wash. So like I said, you could really stock up on this if you have more coupons. This week, I'm going to be doing the gas card deal. You get $10 off your $50 gas card when you have a grocery purchase of $50 or more. And if you're not familiar with how this works, you just need $50 worth of groceries before coupons. So you can actually pay less than $50 and you're still going to save the $10 off your $50 gas card. So depending on your area, there, you know, is probably multiple different gas cards that you can get. Um, pretty much any of these qualify for the deal. Um, so I may get the Circle K one. I'm not sure. Next, in any state other than Florida, you can pick up just one of these Once Upon a Farm smoothies. If you live in Florida, you'll need to grab two. But grabbing just one at $4.99 when they're normally $9.99 a box, we're going to use a $3 digital coupon. We'll pay $1.99 but submit to Maryfield for $2.50 back plus 5% back. So it will actually make one box free and a 101 moneymaker. Next, we're going to grab the Mentos gum. I'm going to grab a few different flavors. These are buy one, get one free, and we also have Shopkick rebates for these. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a few. 
So these are the flavors that I'm picking up because they each have 500 kicks back on Shopkick. And on Fetch Rewards, you can also get a dollar back when you spend over $5 on these products. So these three right here total me $6.73. But after $6 back on Shopkick and a dollar back on Fetch, it'll make these free in a 27 cent money maker. Next, we have Kellogg cereal that is buy one get one free this week. And there's also this get a free $10 breakfast and give 50 meals for Feed America. So we can buy one Kellogg's product and one participating product. You're going to scan this little QR code on your phone. So you'll just open your phone camera and it'll pop up the website and you'll click on that. And it's going to tell you exactly, you know, how it works. But basically, you're going to get two $5 coupons. It's worth $10, I guess, worth of Kellogg's products. So I'm going to grab a cereal so with the cereal being buy one get one free this week one of the cheapest options for me here is the rice krispies so i'm gonna get this for like 289 so when you do that qr code it shows you tons of qualifying participating products uh, one of them is the tropicana orange juice so i'm grabbing this one for four dollars these two products right here are going to total us six dollars and 84 cents but we are going to earn back $10 in coupons for this deal. So if you look at it like that, it's around a $3 moneymaker. The next deal we're picking up is the Dave's Killer Bread. These little snacks are $5.59 and they're buy one get one free. So Ibotta has a $3 rebate up to three. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three boxes. Three boxes will total me $8.38 and I'm going to get $2.50 back for each box on Ibotta, making it just $0.88 cents for all three. But of course, you could just grab a couple and get the $2.50 twice. Next up, I'm grabbing the Splenda Peel and Pour. This is $6.99, and I do have one $5 coupon for this. So I'm going to pay $1.99, but on Ibotta, we have $3 back. So it's going to make this free and a moneymaker. The Greenfield Lunchables are two for $4 this week. And on Fetch Rewards, we have $2 back on two, making them two for $2 or just $1 each. I would definitely stock up on this deal since the Fetch deal is a limit of four. Um, so you can do the deal four times. But unfortunately, my store only has these two in stock. All right, guys, this is everything that I'm picking up this week. I have over $50 worth of groceries in my cart and I have my $50 gas card. All right, guys, one more deal I want to show you. I was going to pick these up as well. So there's a Blinky coupon, but I don't know how much it's for. If it's for a dollar, you could use two of them and get two of the string cheese for just $3.39 total. But unfortunately, my store is out of the coupons and out of some of the cheese. So these were missing the barcode, so we're just waiting on them to type it in. This is my total with tax and before the gas card and before any coupons. Okay, it so what we rang up for is $62.81 is what we You're rang right. up for. So I scanned my gas card and now I'm typing in the lookup code at the bottom of the gas card coupon. You type it in just like a fruit or vegetable or the cashier can do it for you. Please wait for assistance. So right now this is my total with all my paper coupons and the gas card included. And now I am going to type in my phone number and my digital will come off. So I'm just using one digital coupon today, and this is my total with tax. All right, guys, so I am back home, and this is my Publix haul for this week. We're going to go ahead and get into the receipt, talk final cost of everything. So checkout went fine. Uh, when I was checking out, the only issues I ran into at all was right here on these Lunchables. You can see the front. You can see the back, uh, they forgot to put the barcodes on them, I guess. So she had to go on to um, her little like handheld device and look them up. And then she was able to type in the code for them, which works out nicely because then they show up on their seat as the item that they're supposed to be so we can get our rebate. So um, just did that. Then of course, when you're ringing up the gas card, like if you're getting one like this, you know, it's anywhere from $25 to $100. So I just told her I wanted 50 on it. And 
and she approved the amount. And then when I typed in the lookup code down there on the gas card coupon, um, she just had to approve it because it's a high value coupon of $10. Um, the only other coupon she had to come over to approve was my two $5 coupons, my $5 off of the two Nivea, and then the $5 off of one for the Splenda because anytime you have a coupon over $5, normally they just have to come and approve that. And all she had to do is hit a button on there and we were good to go. So no issues. And fun fact, she is the cashier um, that first gave me like a really hard time about coupons at this particular public store. And then ever since that happened that first time, um, it was like, I just kept being like nice to her. Like, even though the situation was just like kind of ridiculous and I kept going to self checkout because, you know, at first she tried to discourage me from that. And now she just acts like nice as anything to me and have not had an issue with her. So, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes once people like see you enough, I don't know, they, so their attitude changes, I don't know. But anyway, so just a little fun fact. But here is my receipt with all of my items on it. And I did use, um, you know, a few paper coupons today, like I showed you guys in the store. So you can see right here, we had our $10 off for the gas card. Uh, we had $2, $1, um, $1.50. Those were all the laundry coupons I used. Then the $5 off Nivea and $5 off of Splenda. And then I only used one digital coupon today, and that was for the Once Upon a Farm so my subtotal was $80.85. So I paid that out of pocket plus tax, but keep in mind that $50 of that total is a gas card. Down here, it gives us our savings summary so you can see how much you saved with store coupons, manufacturer coupons, and the sale prices, and buy one, get one free sales. So we saved about $74.69 total there. Then I started submitting my receipts to the rebate apps so let's talk about this for a second. My total is $80.85 before tax. Um, 50 of that is a gift card. So that means that everything else that I was picking up was $30.85 if we're not talking about the gift card. Now, of course, my total is $30.85 because I had that $10 in extra savings. So if you're not doing that or your area doesn't have the gas card deal this week, of course, you'll have to figure in that $10. But if all of this right here was technically $30.85, then I'm submitting my receipt over to Ibotta where I'm getting back a total of $15 for our rebates. Then on Fetch Rewards, I should get $3 back. I'm going to have to correct the receipt because it didn't pick up the Lunchables even though um, she had typed them in. So... I should get $2 back for these two. And on the Mentos, on my Fetch Rewards, I have a dollar back when you spend $5 on the Mentos products. And I did spend over $5 on the Mentos products. So I should be getting back at least $1 for those. But I have to fix the receipt because it was not giving me that. So anyways, it picked up that I'd spent less on these. So anyways, um, $3 back on Fetch is how much I should get. Then over on Maryfield, I ended up getting about $3 back because we had $2.50 for this. Plus, they give you 5% back on your purchases, on qualifying purchases on Maryfield. So I got back $3 there. Then on Shopkick, we are getting back around 1,500 kicks because we're getting 500 each on these. I would have also got the strawberry flavor if my store had it um, because it also offered 500 kicks. But each of these, 500 kicks, so that was $6 back. So my final cost for all these items right here gets down to $3.85. Now, keep in mind that we're submitting for this deal for the Kellogg's and it says get a free $10 breakfast. Okay. And then they also donate $5 for the Feeding America. So, with that being said, from what it says on the fine print when you go on there, it looks like you're going to get two $5 coupons. And since it says a free $10 breakfast, I'm assuming it's enough to cover the purchase of like a couple of their cereals or a couple of their waffles or, you know, something. So I haven't submitted it yet, so I don't know exactly. But if you count in the $10 in coupons that you're also going to receive, then that would make all of these items free and a $6.15 moneymaker, okay? 
Now, <laughs> some people may look at it that way. Some people may not since the $10 we're getting back is not like a gift card, but it's coupons for products on a future purchase. Now, um, depending on how you look at it, okay, if you're looking at it like this costs $3.85, I'm not counting that $10 in coupons you're going to get back. That means that my final cost was $53.85 and that was for a $50 gas card plus all of these items. So all the items technically cost me $3.85. He is trying so hard to be in this video. Um, so, or if you look at it with including the $10 in coupons that we will receive back um, and you're looking at it as a $6.15 moneymaker, then that means the gift card as well um, as all of this was a final cost of $43.85. So either way you look at it, this is an amazing deal. I'm really happy with everything I picked up. I would have maxed out the Lunchable deal for the Greenfield because these are good. They're supposed to be better. Um, but my store only had those two. So if your store has more than that, you can do that fetch deal for the $2 back on two. Um, up to four times and you can do it on separate receipts or the same receipt if you want So I might go back and do something like that if my store gets more in stock before the sale is over For the two for four, but yeah, that is everything you guys let me know down in the comments below What deals you're gonna pick up? I hope that you found this video helpful Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on your way out if you haven't yet I would love to have you over here in our little coupon family and coupon community and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.